Dr. Paley has more than 25 years of experience in the treatment of congenital femoral deficiency, fibular hemimelia, and tibial hemimelia. Most of the surgical procedures used for treatment of these conditions were originally developed by Dr. Paley. The more severe types of birth defects, especially of the musculoskeletal system, are what we treat here at the Paley Institute. The most common of these are congenital femoral deficiency, fibular hemimelia, and tibial hemimelia. In the past, the justification for amputation is that nobody was able to reliably correct the foot deformity without the deformity returning. This leads to problems of the hip, knee, and ankle, as well as missing toes, missing kneecaps, and missing parts of joints. By creating an operation that prevents the deformity from coming back, we've changed the entire landscape of treatment. Kelly Lockett is an active and happy child. The Arizona toddler is like every other child her age with one obvious difference. Her lower right leg is flesh and blood and metal. Kelly was born with fibular hemimelia and she was born without a fibula. We went to a lot of doctors from one coast to the other and we had a number of them said actually to amputate and get a prosthetic limb and put on there and they said that that was the current way to go. When I was born, I was diagnosed with PFFD. We were told that uh, Kether would have to get his leg amputated at the hip. We spent a good five years not knowing really what to do, where to go. Anya was born with complete absence of a tibia in her right leg, so she has absolutely no shin bone whatsoever. We were living in North Carolina at the time and took her to an um, orthopedic surgeon and didn't even take x-rays, just said, oh, amputate, the sooner the better. That was kind of shocking to us. The state of the art 25 years ago was amputation and prosthetic fitting, or in some cases just a prosthesis without amputation. That's all changed. Not only are we able to lengthen limbs successfully, we're now finally able to reconstruct these very deficient joints. I've had the opportunity to improve the treatments and to develop completely new strategies and surgical procedures to successfully treat these conditions. Among the surgeries that Dr. Paley has pioneered are the super knee and super knee for congenital femoral deficiency, the super ankle for fibular hemimelia, and biologic arthroplasty of knee and ankle for tibular hemimelia. My husband and I knew the day after we met Dr. Paley that Kether was going to be okay. I got this true sense of confidence and I knew we had arrived at where we needed to be and we had the answers that we needed. And it was such a relief. Dr. Paley looked at her leg and said, oh, it's definitely reconstructable and gave us the rundown on what it would take. And he said, it's a huge process, but it, you know, I think it'll be worth it in the end. Do you want to go home and think about it? And my husband and I looked at each other and said, what's there to think about it? We've been thinking about it now for you know, six months. Fortunately, we met Dr. Paley. And he was really the only one that jumped out at us and said, no problem, we can handle this. Today, at our center, patients can be treated in essentially all cases with limb lengthening and reconstructive surgery. They have equal leg length when we're done with their treatment. They run, they jump, they can do sports, they can do virtually any activity that a normal child can do. We're successful almost universally in equalizing their limb length, in correcting their joints, and in giving them a totally functional extremity. Is that better than an amputation? Without any question. Going through the process, I learned to be a lot stronger. Her whole life was changed tremendously because she's got her own leg, uh, flesh and blood that she can manage and have feeling with. Feels good to be done and have equal legs. When we brought her home from Russia, she had 
a brace that was like a molded plastic sleeve that fit around her leg and it had this fake foot that the shoe fit on. And she made up this little song about how she was going to wear two shoes and it all rhymed and everything and it was cute. You know, she says, I'll just be a regular girl and I can wear whatever shoes I want and I won't have to have a brace. Why not give your kid a chance at having his or her own leg? I mean, it's worked out wonderfully. I, play, I played basketball all my life. I love swimming, I love biking. Whenever it's nice out, I love biking to the gym. It gives me that sense of, you know, I'm like everybody else. To have two feet on the ground and to be able to do that, and, uh, I feel like there's a whole new sense of exploration about me. Family coming here for this treatment can look at the life plan and decide, is this too much for my child? Can we handle this? These are all important questions. We explore all of these aspects with the family. The families that have gone through this succeed. They're able to go home with their goals achieved. At the end of the day, the winner is the child, the patient, the one who will never have to wear a prosthesis, the one who will end up with their limb restored to normal function.